Hendrik. Woman. Um, I apologise, Madam Deputy Speaker. When I spoke, um, I omitted to draw attention to my entry in the Register of Interest concerning a recent um, delegation to Israel as part of a Labour Friends of Israel delegation. And I'd like to correct that. Uh, I'm grateful to the Honourable Lady for correcting the record. Uh, point of order. Mr. Hussein. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I too omitted earlier to draw members to my Register of Interest. I too visit, went with a delegation last year uh, to Israel and Palestine. I thank the Honourable Gentleman. Any, any other points? Of, uh, Mr Shepherd? Yes, a point of order, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I also wish to draw attention to the Register of Interest, and I uh, went on a trip to uh, Israel and the West Bank last year as uh, a guest of uh, 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 Fatah UK. Uh, anyone? Joan Ryan? Is it required, Madam Deputy Speaker, if you have visited Israel and Palestine, in the last year and have registered that in the Register of Interest. Is it required that we make um, that declaration here? It is a, it is, it's a matter for individual members as to how and in what manner they declare matters where they may have personally benefited financially or otherwise from an outside organisation who might have an interest in the current debate, but it's very much a member. Uh, it's very much a matter for individual members as to whether they wish to make these points or not. Of course, the rules are very strict about what is in the register of members' interests, as the honourable lady has just said. Joan Ryan, Madam Deputy Speaker, and hearing your guidance, um, I would declare that I have visited Israel and Palestine on a number of occasions over the last year, um, all of which have been supported and financed by the Labour Friends of Israel, from which I have made no personal gain whatsoever. I'd like the Honourable Lady. Sir. <laughs> to be left out, um, can I draw the House's attention to the, register in my, the, the entry in my register of interest um, regarding a visit to the West Bank um, last year, co-organised by the Council for Our British Understanding, Medical Aid for Palestinians, and paid for by the Joseph Hotel Foundation. Thank you. Um, is, there, is there anyone else who would like to tell us of their travel uh, experiences? Mr Austin. Well, having heard what you said, I didn't realise we were required to do this. I mean, I did say in my speech that I had been to Israel recently, or, uh, given what, that everybody else is doing this. I feel ought to draw attention to my register, my entry in the register of interest. I visited Israel recently, met, uh, met politicians in Israel and in Palestine. Oh, no, the that, that trip was funded by Labour Friends of Israel. Thank you. The, the Honourable Gentleman did mention that, I recall him yes. saying it. Um, <coughs> I think that we, we, we have now taken up an entire speech time, um, but it is, it is right that honourable members should behave honourably in these matters. Mark Hendrick. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, as has become the fashion, I would like to declare um, my visits to Palestine and Israel over the last 15 years financed by various organisations. 